Hello everyone, uh, today I'm going to quickly take you over this <coughs> dynamic invoice generator that I have developed. So essentially what this does is it takes a bunch of inputs um, and you can see the full list of inputs here. It's pretty much everything. So uh, everything so from the client details to your business details, uh, the items, the total amounts and then the payment methods are all dynamic and what this does is it renders a PDF um, a nice clean PDF that you can print or send off um, with your payment system attach it to an email etc um, so how this works is what I'll do is I'll test the business name let's say uh, so I've used a bunch of I've already pre uh, inputted some of this data so let's just do today's date is the 24th oh Today's date is the 20th. Okay, not too sure what's going on there, but anyway, 2nd of 4th, 2023. Let's do the 20th. Yeah. Um, invoice number. And then these are some items that I've already got in the database. You can choose how exactly you want to pr uh, provide your lists, but essentially you will just provide those lists uh, in here. Obviously, each list has to be the same length. As you can see here, the description list is three uh, amounts. We've got three amounts each. The list the length of each of these lists is three. Anyway, what happens is when you hit generate invoice, <coughs> it will trigger the download. And you can see here we've got a nice kind of uh, invoice generated with the three products in here. Um, what you'll notice is that this payments method is completely customizable. So I am from Australia. Um, so for me, I like to add the Australian banks transfer method, bank transfer method, um, because that is free of fees. And then you can include a Stripe link or whatever payment gateway you like to use. You can include that in there as well. Um, and you'll see in the plugin that is all down here. Um, so you can really customize exactly how you want that set up. And if you've got multiple kind of payment methods, you can include those all in there. Um, and then that is kind of how that works. So you can see in the back end here, I've kind of included the variables for every single thing displaying on this invoice. Um, sorry about that. And that is kind of how that's displaying. Um, in saying that, if people have any special customizations that they kind of want me to add on here, there's some fields that you want to use that are missing, um, anything like that, please feel free to get in touch with me with the support or reach out on the bubble forum or something like that. And I can add in the ability to allow that. Um, so with some of the fields in the invoice, if you leave them blank, uh, they will not be included. So that's probably what I do. If someone wants something custom, let's say you want maybe another field included in the total here or something like that. What I can do is then add that to the plugin and then basically implement the rule that if it's an optional field, if it's blank, it just won't be included. Um, <clears throat> cool. I hope this is helpful for people and feel free to reach out and get in contact if there's any issues. Thank you.